The opposition MDCT National Standing Committee and the National Council members have been challenged to stand up and reject their president, Douglas Monzora's recent appointment of Elias Muzuri as one of his deputies. Andrew Chaponda, the MDCT USA Secretary, said the appointment of Muzuri as vice president was illegal as it violated the MDT MDCT's constitution and should not go unchallenged. Monzora recently appointed Muzuri as the second vice president and former interim president Togo Zanikupe as first vice president. However, Chaponda argues that Muzuri's appointment was illegal. No one in the MDCT has the legal powers to appoint a vice president outside the constitution, which is a congress, Chaponda told reporters. Reports that the standing committee agreed to some expedient illegal desecration of our constitution by endorsing the appointment of certain individuals to electable party positions are as unfortunate as they are illegal. The announcement is a clear and presents a danger to the democratic and constitutional process in the party and it must be stopped by all legal means that are necessary. He added that Douglas Monzora, who is a lawyer, whose close advisors are also lawyers and has the singular distinction of co-chairing COPAC, the Constitution Parliamentary Committee that wrote the current Constitution of Zimbabwe, he cannot be ignorant of the law and constitution of the MDCT. The question is, why is he disregarding the Supreme, the Supreme Court's steaming hot judgment? It boggles the mind why engineer Elias Mozuri would allow himself to be duped not once but twice to break the party constitution. In a Supreme Court ruling passed last March, the judges said the early appointment of Muzuri and Nelson Chamisa in 2016 as the MDCT co-vice presidents by the now late MDCT president Morgan Changirai was unconstitutional. Chamisa is now the president of the MDC alliance. Monzora must be under some illusion that we have short memories and that he is the messiah we all have been waiting for and the time to throw away the constitution, values, ethos and principles of our party has arrived, he said. All party appointments and reassignments so far made or being